Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to get your device location or that is a last location using GPS or network information without using the map layout. So in my previous or in, or in my other uh, tutorial, I have shown you how to do these things using this Google Maps layout. But what if you don't want to use that layout and you want to just use your uh, other uh, uh, layout and get the location information. So let me show it. So I will name it uh, location app. You can name it anything. Click finish. Wait for the ID to load up. And once it comes up, uh, before we do anything in our Java code, I think we will have to include uh, or let us say implement one of the Google service, uh, which is a location service. So we will just implement that. So we will implement implementation uh, of com dot google dot android gms so these are the standard play store services and we will be using the location services here location and then uh, i think the latest is 20.0.0 but you can check it uh, whenever you are doing it you can check the latest version and click on sync now and if it's successful it should be uh, the respective message will come up next we will uh, give the permissions uh, for the access to location so for that we'll have to define the necessary uh, use permissions in the manifest file and the permissions i think which we should define is uh, probably both course and find location so course is something which we get using the um, the gps and find is something which is fine tuned using the network uh, information like uh, mobile data and other things okay so once we have it uh, now we will jump to our design uh, the layout and here probably we will use this text view the default one which we get to display our output so i'll keep it as it is along with that i will also put a button to trigger my location uh, information uh, or to get uh, to trigger the uh, method so get location you can name it anything this uh, name of the button and that's all is what i think from the layout perspective of course we will have to define the on click uh, attribute of this button so for that i'll just quickly make a method here called button get location view view perfect and now I'll go back to my XML uh, file and there I'll update this on click method for this one, which is button get location. Yeah. So I think now more or less we are done and we'll jump to our no Java code. Here, before we do anything, I will in the on click method itself, I will ensure to get the permission and the permission which we require is string and uh, manifest dot permission dot will need find location uh, normally it's sufficient but i will also give the other one which is manifest dot permission dot course location and package manager dot permission granted yes so this line will ensure that uh, we get the required permission to access the location now we will define few class variables one will of course text view and this text view we will associate with the, our output so text view equal to find view by location r dot id dot text view and what else we will need is we will need probably a couple of other class variables uh, one will be okay i think i will string and this will be latitude so this will hold my latitude so by default i will give it 0.0, .0. Uh, and then similarly we will have one variable for longitude so longitude perfect and what else and i think one more class variable we will need is to get our location so that's it's called fuse location provider client and so so this is the part of the implementation which we did in the gradle file so if, if you have not done it correctly this this will throw an error so make sure you have implemented uh, the place service correctly, the location place service. Okay, so we'll be using this to get our location in this particular method and then print that location in the text view. That's, that's the uh, idea of this particular uh, video. So first and foremost, what we'll do is we will just have a fuse location, the 
variable which we have defined above and then we will get a location service which is again a part of our uh, uh, the new library which we have Im uh, implemented and get fused location service provider client and class will be this person so once we have it now we can move to our so we will use this to get our last location so get last location and then we can add a listener on this so add on success listener this new on success listener location yeah so perfect so when we get this uh, uh, listen successfully it will return the location in this particular variable and that's what we will use here uh, let me see what's the warning all about so i'm just uh, press alt enter and it says to add permission check just click here and it will ensure that the find location and the post location uh, permission check has been put on the top and uh, but but we have already taken this permission in the own kit method so we need not to worry much about this so this will be this line of the code will be automatically added so we can now continue uh, on this part on success method so whenever we have the successfully received the location so it will come to over here still we can check whether this location is uh, null or not because so if it, this is not equal to null then what we can do is we can extract the uh, latitude and longitude information from here so we can assign uh, like this string uh, latitude equal to and this will be i think by default a double so we may have to convert it from double to a string because we are storing the information in the string and here location dot get latitude will return the latitude from the location similarly we will do it for uh, longitude so uh, probably i will type it again longitude equal to double dot to string location dot get longitude perfect yeah so over here this will uh, uh, make sure that our uh, this particular strings are updated if you want you can have an else part here to handle if what if this location is uh, empty and all those things but i'll just skip it and now uh, i'll just update my text view set text with the information so my latitude is nothing but plus string dot latitude string latitude and similarly we will have longitude plus string longitude yeah so this line will print my final output so if it is not updated here it will have the default value which is 0, 0.0 and that's what it will print so i'll just run this particular app in the emulator to see what's the output which we get so i will wait for my emulator to come up And I am expecting it should ask initially for the permissions for the location. And that's what exactly it asked for over here. I'll just click allow. And of course, it's initially it's hello world. And I entered here as it's still 0 0.01. That means it's not updated. So sometimes it takes time to update and perfect. So now if you, when I clicked it again, we got some value here, which is 37.42 and minus 122. Uh, and I think this should be the latitude and longitude of google headquarters because by default the emulator goes to the google headquarters in california and returns the latitude and longitude of over there but if you run this same part of the code in your device in your excel device you will get the latitude and longitude where your device is okay so that's all so uh, the basic idea of this particular uh, video is that you have to use this fused location provider client to get the last location and that's that's the key part over here and for to get that, you have to implement the Google Play service location in your Gradle file. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.